here in the i button and in description box below you will get the complete playlist of numerical analysis welcome to video number 2 in which we are going to solve second problem on the topic that is numerical integration this problem is very 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 important and in numerical integration topic we are going to solve 8 different problems and all the 8 problems are very 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 important ok so let us start with the problem the question says Evaluate integration 0 to 1, the limit is from 0 to 1, dx upon 1 plus x square by using trapezoidal rule taking h equals to 1 upon 4, Simpson's 1 third rule taking h equals to 1 upon 4, Simpson's 3 upon 8th rule taking h equals to 1 upon 6, Weddell's rule taking h equals to 1 upon 6. Here you can see we need to find the value of this integration by using trapezoidal rule, Simpson's rule on taking h equals to 1 upon 4 again we need to find this by using Simpson's 3 by 8 rule and Weddell's rule by taking h equals to 1 upon 6 ok and after that we need to compute an approximate value of pi in each case that means for each case we need to find the approximate value of this pi ok so let us start here you can see here we have h equals to 1 upon 4 for these two cases and h equals 1 upon 6 for these two cases. So we need to make two tables here. First table where h equals 1 upon 4 and the second table where h equals to 1 upon 6. So let us prepare first table that is for h equals to 1 upon 4 that is equals to 0 0.25. So here we will write x and here we will write f of x that is 1 upon 1 plus x square. And this is nothing but your y ok this is what this is y now let us make a table let us write here that is value of x 0 0 0.25 0 0.50 0 0.75 and here we can write 0 1.00 ok now if you put x equal to 0 here y is going to be 1 and this is the value of y naught. Again, if you put x equal to 0.25 here, you will get y equals to 0 0.9411, which is y1. Again, on putting x equal to 0 0.5 here, you will get y equals to 0 0.8. This is y2. Again, on putting x equals to 0 0.75 here, you will get y equals to 0 0.64, which is the value of y3. Again on putting x equals to 1 here, you will get y equals to 0 0.5 which is y4. Now we will find the value of integration by trapezoidal rule. So trapezoidal rule. The integration 0 to 1 dx upon 1 plus x square formula is h upon 2 the value of h is how much 0.25 or 1 upon 4 bigger bracket values of extreme y's that is y naught plus y4 y naught plus y4 plus twice into remaining y values that is y1 plus y2 plus y3 here we have the value of y4 so close it Okay, putting x equals to 1 upon 4 or 0 0.25, putting the value y values, okay, you will get the value as 0 0.7825. Okay, by trapezoidal rule, the value of this is 0 0.7825. Now going to second method that is Simpson's 1 by third rule. Integration 0 to 1 dx upon 1 plus x square. Okay, this is going to be h upon 3 bracket open the values of extreme y values that is y naught plus y4 plus 4 into odd values of y. Okay, odd subscript of y that is y1 plus y3. y1 plus y plus twice into 
even values of y that is y2 y4 but here we have y4 so we can write only y2 now close it now put the value of h equals to 0 0.25 or 1 upon 4 putting all the values of y from here you will get the value of this integration as per simpson's one third rule equals to 0 0.7851 this is 7851 now for h equals to 1 upon 4 we have the values of as per trapezoidal rule and Simpson's one third rule. Now we will see, now we will form another table for h equals to 1 upon 6. For h equals to 1 upon 6, we have drawn a table. Now here we are write, we are writing 0, then 1 upon 6. If you wish, then you can write this in decimal value, but that will be odd looking. So we are writing this as 1 upon 6, then 2 upon 6, then 3 upon 6, 4 upon 6, 5 upon 6, then 6 upon 6 which is equals to 1. Now I am putting x equal to 0, y equals to 1 which is the value of y naught. On, on putting x equals to 1 upon 6 here, y equals to 0 0.9729, this is the value of y1. On putting x equal to 1, 2 upon 6 here, y equals to 0 0.9. You see the value of y2. Similarly, here you will get x equals y3 equals to 0 0.8. Here y4 is equals to 0 0.6923. This is y5, this is y6. On putting x equals to 5 upon 6, y5 equals to 0 0.5901. Similarly, on putting x equals to 1 here y6 equals to 0 0.5 okay so here we have the value of y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 and y6 now we will find the value of that integration using simpson's 3 upon 8 rule that is integration 0 to 1 dx upon 1 plus x square equals to formula that is 3h upon 8 integration upon y0 plus y6 extreme values of y plus 3 into here we will consider here we will exclude the subscript of y carrying multiple of 3 that is we will not carry this or this okay so we will take this as y1 plus y2 plus y4 plus y5 plus twice here we will write values of y carrying suffix as multiple of 3 that is y3 y6 but here we have already used y6 so here we can take only y3 close this bracket h equals to 1 upon 6 okay and y values are here so on putting those values you will get the value of this integration as per Simpson's 3 by 8 rule that is 0 0.7854 this is the value now again fourth that is Weddell's rule 0 to 1 dx upon 1 plus x square the formula is 3h upon 10 y0 plus 5 times y1 plus y2 plus 6 times y3 plus y4 plus 5 times y5 plus y6. On putting, on putting various values, you will get the value of this integration as 0 0.7853. So we have the value of in this integration as per trapezoidal rule, Simpson's one third rule, Simpson's 3 by 8 rule and Weddell rule. Now we will find the approximate value of pi for all the cases. So now by integration. Now the interesting part of this problem is started, already started. Integration 0 to 1 dx upon 1 plus x square. This is equals to, we know this is tan inverse of x, limit goes from 
0 to 1. Now on putting the limit, you will get tan inverse of 1 minus tan inverse of 0. This value is how much? 0. And tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4. Okay, the value is pi by 4, which implies if you take this 4 to the left hand side, you will get pi equals to 4 times 0 to 1 dx upon 1 plus x square. And for each cases, we have the value of this. So, we can say as per trapezoidal rule pi equals to 4 into the value of this according to trapezoidal rule is 0 0.7825. On multiplying this, we will get 3.13. .3. Similarly, Simpson's 1 by third rule that is pi equals to 4 times the value of this integration as per Simpson's 1 third rule is 0 0.7851. On multiplying this, we will get the value of pi as 3.1404. Again, Simpson's 3 upon 8th rule pi equals to 4 into 0 0.7854. This is the value of this integration as per Simpson's 3 upon 8th rule. If you multiply this with this, you will get pi equals to 3.1416. Again, Biddle's rule pi equals to 4 into the value of this according to this rule is 0 0.7853 or multiplying 4 into this you will get 3.1412. So, you have the values of pi for each the for each cases. So, this is my final answer. Thank you. Thank you so much.